Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to another video. Listen, before we get started, I just want to make one thing perfectly clear. Never will I ever promote or sell something to you guys strictly for a dollar amount. I will always do my due diligence, test out whatever thing I'm putting in front of you. As you can see, I'm doing okay for myself. New crib, Let's see if we can get that. You know what I'm saying? We all right. Now with that being said, about a month ago, I had a meeting with the owner of a regulated broker. Unlike other influencers, instead of just trying to shove things in, in my, my following's face before I actually, you know, see what it's about, I went ahead and you know, tried out the, the broker. And I will say, everything checked out green, right? Everything's good. The withdrawals are nice and quick. The spreads are, are dope. The leverage, right? The leverage is one to 500, which is super rare in a regulated broker. So the only thing I do not like is that I'm forced to use MetaTrader 5 right i'm probably one of the most stubborn people i know i need to get with the times but i'm gonna continue using metatrader 4 throughout you know till it's no more but what i will say is majority of my money will be in this broker and i will continue to trade on this broker and use metatrader 5. now personally i'm not with all the politics i've seen reviews i've seen people in their whole spills saying you know metatrader 4 is gonna you know get taken off the market or meta quotes is deleting all regulated brokers blah 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 listen everyone's just fucking talking right nobody knows shit people have been making these same claims since metatrader 5 came out like no one knows shit i'm gonna just keep it at that the difference between a regulated broker and unregulated broker is with a regulated broker if something was to go wrong someone's being held accountable someone's getting locked up someone's getting put away and an unregulated broker, someone could run off with your bread at any given time. Either way you go, you don't want that to happen in any scenario. But like I said, I'm not for the politics. I don't, I don't care if you use a regulated broker or unregulated broker. I used the unregulated broker for the first three, four years I was trading. But what I will say is I do find comfort in knowing that, you know, someone will be held accountable if, if something was to go wrong with this brand new broker that I'm using. Now, with that being said, I do encourage you all to go try out this broker. Go try out MetaTrader 5 if you have not yet. It's super cool. It takes some getting used to. Also, this broker has a super dope affiliate program so if you've been looking for another stream of income this is not no iml type bullshit if you've been looking to add another stream of income and affiliate income right affiliate marketing just getting paid for being a part of something you can also join and and and, and promote however you would like to right like i said i'm keeping it real I don't believe in doing shit just for a dollar amount. Like I said, I'm good. I'm just here to help y'all out. I'm always keep it real with y'all, always, right? I do encourage you to go try that, but I'm gonna end the video right here. I know I didn't go too, too deep into the regulated versus unregulated. Listen, just trade, make your money and, and, and go. But don't dive too deep into the politics, please. You, you, you're gonna stress yourself out for no fucking reason. Your, your bank today could take your fucking money and what are you gonna do, <laughs> right? So with that being said, drop a like, you know, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. I'll see y'all soon, I'm out.